barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so let's talk about black panther my apologies for getting to it so late i'll start by saying i have two cool stories about uh going actually to the movies the black panther uh, the movie started late like 15 minutes late because they forgot to hit the screen hit play on the on the on the uh up top and we end up getting a free movie ticket to our next movie so that worked out well and fast forward to the end of the movie, I uh, um, I, I go to dinner after the movie, and I don't have my wallet. <laughs> True story. I don't have my wallet. Let's say it's about $600 in there and every credit card I have, etc. I'm in Vegas, by the way, for the uh, Danny Garcia, Brandon Rios fight. And uh, I'm all the way at the Venetian. And I have to go to the Las Vegas Town Center. So you guys know the distance. Probably like five miles, right? Maybe between four and five miles in traffic. So I, I go to pay for dinner. And I'm like, oh, shit. I don't have the money to pay for dinner. And I'm, I'm by myself in Vegas. And so I told the waitress, I says, you got you to gotta forgive me for this one. I don't have my wallet. My wallet is gone. I'll come back and pay you later. Or I'll, or I'll, I'll call you guys in about an hour and a half to uh, find a way to pay for the... <clears throat> pay for the dinner so i go back to the movie theater i'm banging on the door and people come thank god it was late movies and i go to my same seat where i was my wallet is sitting right below my seat <laughs> how how amazing was that right so that's my uh you reap what you sow you, you put in positive energy you get back positive energy and so one of my thoughts is of black panther i thought it was an exceptional movie i thought it was a perfect film uh outside of it being great black cinema it, it was great cinema and uh it had the good guy it had the bad guy it had the villain uh it showed promise it showed hope great storyline clever contemporary lines uh I'm, and uh, it's no me to put spoiler alert on this shit because if they grow 700 million i'm sure 80 percent of you guys 90 percent of you guys had already seen it and uh the uh, fight scenes are well over a million dollars. But let's get into the uh, the true meaning. I believe T'Challa was uh, Bozeman. His name Bozeman. He was Martin Luther King. And uh, Michael B. Jordan is uh, Malcolm X. And it's that dichotomy between the black community in terms of should we sit down and do it the right way and assimilate ourselves or should we stand alone and own everything we have and that's who michael b jordan was if i'm not mistaken i'm drawing a blank on his name uh it's it's, it's a long word name sorry it's been a week and a half since i've seen the movie and um that's the problem that we have in our community do we I, obviously wakanda was was a synonym for africa do we keep all our resources our diamonds, our oil, and all our minerals. Do we keep this, you know, or do we share it with the rest of the world? And that's what that, uh, the second to last, uh, uh, the second to last ending or preview of what's coming next when he's at the UN, I believe, and he wants to share his gifts with the world and work with the world to make it a better world. And um, that was us as human beings like wakanda is every neighborhood in america that's uh the majority of of black people like baldwin hills we have baldwin hills ladera heights you understand what i'm saying it's your street it's your neighbor that's just what i believe i, I could be wrong maybe i'm thinking a bit too far maybe i'm too curious i don't know but uh and and, and i'm not sure if you know but chichilla sounded like mandela so i think all this was intentional you understand like when he was talking i said that's nelson mandela so all this kind of reels into what type of person are you and i believe what uh black panther is is supposed to be a mirror uh it's supposed to be a, a mirror you're supposed to look at yourself in the mirror um Obviously, they're gonna show strong black presence, strong black char strong black characters. Um, 
uh, in great detail, great influence. Uh, the, the man and the woman um, love each other. I'm drawing the blanks on their names right now because it's been 10 days. But uh, just a great film. Uh, it's more than black cinema. It's not paid in full. It's not above the rim. You get what I'm saying? It, it's, a, it's a great movie, man. And uh, those million-dollar fight scenes were just incredible. Uh, I thought the first fight scene was the best. To oh, I'm drawing a blank on that name. But the first fight scene was the best fight scene, I, I thought, when he had to prove himself in the first 15 minutes. I thought that was amazing. That was astounding. Um, and the ending, White Wolf. That's white supremacy, guys. That's the guy that's going to convince Chichilla that uh, integration is key. Not equal rights, but integration. He's that guy that's going to pull the minerals out of Wakanda. And, and in Black Panther 2, you're going to start seeing the white people integrate themselves in Wakanda. Watch what I say. And uh, um, so that's just what I feel. That's just what I believe. Excellent movie. Excellent movie. I'm, I, I'm eager to see it again. When it fits into my schedule, when I can put three hours aside and and watch it again, I definitely want to. It might be on my fire stick, but you, you know, it's definitely a, a cinema movie. I I know some of you guys may have seen it on fire stick. Invest ten dollars. Um, go to your movie house, whatever specials they have is Tuesday or Wednesday, eight dollar movie. Go watch it in the cinema. The surround sound, the fight scene. It's gonna make it seem like the fight scene is three sixty. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're surrounded by the fight scene. You understand? So it's uh, uh not just to support the film because the, the the money goes to Disney. Their salary is already paid. But uh, I, I think it's one of the movies where you definitely want to see it in the cinema, in the movie theater. So. Well. Excuse me. So go watch it. Must see. I'm eager to re re read your comments. I apologize for it being so late. Th this was on my mind. that I, I wanted to do it that night, but it was so late, and I was so relieved I found my wallet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I, I, I probably uploaded some videos all night, as you guys may have seen. <laughs> may have seen that I went to bed and started my Friday. So, uh, so th that's my summary. And um, don't forget, as I already alluded to it, but Wakanda is your neighborhood, all right? Wakanda is or was uh, Black Wall Street. Wakanda was and is Lamert Park. Wakanda was and is Harlem, USA. Wakanda is and was Future, uh, is the South Side of Chicago. Wakanda was and is ATL. It was the East Point. Wakanda was and is Portsmouth, Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia, you know, the uh, the Navy base where all the black people, that's where my family originated from. Wakanda was and is a 305. You understand? Wakanda was and is uh, Mississippi. Wakanda was, and you guys get where I'm going with this. So th that's just what I believe in my heart. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but that's what I got from it. We have everything we need within and around us as black people in America. Um, in America, for that matter, more importantly, in Africa, to create a Wakanda, to create our utopia. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man. Uh, I'm, I'm eager to tell me, guys, what you think. Did you think Chichilla was Malcolm? I mean, was uh, Martin Luther King and Michael B. Jordan was Malcolm X? I thought that was the friction in the movie. He wasn't a bad guy. I, 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 because once they got to an, a place of understanding... They knew who each other was. Although they had to fight, they knew who each other was. And I believe they're going to put him in an incubator and he's going to come back and you're going to see Malcolm X and Martin Luther King collide when white supremacy integrates themselves into Wakanda. And he's going to tell them to get the fuck out and we're going to have that dichotomy. And then you're going to have the, the uprising of the white people taking over and you're going to see people losing their powers. White people going to have the power. I mean, like physical powers, like Marvel powers and shit like that. And uh, they're going to be wearing the, um, the outfits and shit. So uh, it's fun. So let me know what you guys think. Barbershop Conversations. Go see the movie. Spend the 10 to $15. Go see the movie. And uh, go by yourself because movies are fucking expensive if you take a date and your kids, man. See? Oh, man. Anyways, man. Barbershop Conversations. I'm gone. Peace.